Good day everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this video, we will talk about solving problems that involves permutation. In solving problems involving permutation, you can use fundamental counting principle or either formulas. Some of the formulas are permutation of n taken n or p of n comma n it is equal to n factorial which means the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. For example, permutation of 4 taken 4 is equal to 4 factorial that is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and is equal to 24. Another one is p of n comma n minus 1 that is equal to n. Like permutation of 5 objects taken 4 at a time. As you observe, 5 objects is 1 more than 4. So this is equal to 5. And permutation of n taken 1 is equal to n. For example, 7 objects taken 1 at a time. That is equal to 7. But the general formula for permutation of n objects taken r at a time, which is the arrangement of objects with no repetition, is p of n comma r is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial. For example, p of 8 comma 3 is equal to 8 factorial all over the quantity of 8 minus 3 factorial. So, the answer is 8 factorial all over 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial. 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 down to 1. All over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel out or cross out the same numbers. The remaining numbers now is 8, 7, and 6. Multiply, that is 336. For the permutation, with repetition, the formula is n raised to r. Example, assigning 4-digit pin from 0 to 9, if repetition of digits are allowed. These are the sample codes. All digits of 1, or 4 digits of 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 6, 9, 9, 6. There are 10 choices from 0 to 9, and we need 4 digits. So n is equal to 10, and r is equal to 4. That is 10 raised to 4. 10 times 10 times 10, that is equal to 10,000. Let us try the following problems. In how many ways can you arrange 9 books in a shelf? There are 9 books, and all are included. So this is permutation of 9 objects taken 9 at a time or 9 factorial it is equal to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 down to 1 and equal to 362,880 how about number 2 in how many ways can a president vice president and secretary be elected if a club has 16 members by fundamental counting principle, we need three positions, the president, the vice president, and the secretary. For president, there are 16 choices. For vice president, we subtract one member once president is elected. So there are 15 choices remaining. And for secretary, we deduct once again from the members. So there are 14 choices remaining. We multiply the choices of the three positions, so there are 3,360 possible outcomes. By using the formula, that is permutation of 16 objects taken 3 at a time, that is equal to 16 factorial all over 16 minus 3 factorial. That is equal to 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 down to 1 all over 13 times 12, times 11, down to 1. Cross out the same numbers. 
So the remaining are 16 times 15 times 14 and equal to 3,360. How about this number? Item number 3. If a combination lock must contain 5 different digits, in how many ways can a code be formed from 0 to 9? By fundamental counting principle, we need 5 different digits. So no repetition on first digit, second digit, third, fourth, and fifth digit. And for the first digit, we have 10 choices from 0 to 9. Once the first digit is chosen, we deduct one from the choices. So there are nine choices remaining for the second digit. We deduct once again, so there are eight choices remaining for the third digit. Subtract one again, so there are seven choices for the fourth digit. And at last, subtract once more, so there are six choices remaining for the fifth digit. Multiply the choices of the digits and the result is 30,240. By using the formula that is permutation of 10 objects taken 5 at a time, that is equal to 10 factorial all over 10 minus 5 factorial. That is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 5 factorial. It is equal to 30,240. In item number 4, 7 runners join a race. In how many ways can they be arranged as 1st, 2nd, and 3rd placer? By fundamental counting principle, we need 1st, 2nd, and 3rd placer. For the 1st place, there are 7 runners competing. If one of the runners won the first place, there are six choices remaining for the second place. And if the second placer is concluded, then there are five runners remaining for the third place. By formula, that is permutation of seven taken three at a time. And that is equal to seven factorial all over seven minus three factorial. Seven minus three, so that is 4 factorial. The answer is 7 factorial all over 4 factorial. 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 down to 1 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Cross out the same numbers. So the answer is 7 times 6 times 5 equal to 210. In question number 5, how many 3 digit even numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. If repetition of numbers or digits is not allowed. By fundamental counting principle, we need 3 eight digit even numbers. Hundreds, digit, tens digit, and units digit. The units digit must be an even number. From the choices, an even numbers are 2 and 8. So there are two choices for units digit since repetition of digits is not allowed. We use 2 or 8 to units digit so we cannot use one of them again. So we have four choices remaining for hundreds digit. And if we use any digit from remaining four choices, then only three choices will be available for tens digit. Multiply them. So 4 times 3 times 2 is equal to 24. For item number 6, how many 4-digit odd numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 if repetition is allowed? By fundamental counting principle, we need 4-digit odd numbers. Thousands digit, hundreds digit, tens digit, and units digit. And units digit must be an odd number. From the choices, we have three odd numbers, 1, 3, and 5. So there are choices for units digit. That is three choices. Since repetition of digits is allowed, we can use any of the five digits or five choices, again, for thousands digit, 
5 choices for again for hundreds digit and 5 choices again for tens digit. So 5 times 5 times 3 is equal to 375. I hope you learned from this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.